Hi everyone, welcome back. Today I'm doing a quick unboxing of a you know, guitar that I was a um, impulse purchase. Um, guitar Guitar was doing a good deal on clearance. Um, I'm assuming they're expecting new stock or doing the usual, you know, occasional summer clearance that they do. Um, um, I've always wanted this guitar um, purely from the nostalgia of you know loving. Um, kind of the 80s uh, hair metal bands and um, and kind of generally 80s rock music um, and Kramer back then was the big name so I went ahead and purchased a um, Kramer Beretta guitar from Guitar Guitar um, and we're just going to do a quick unboxing to see what comes in the box and etc and to see when, what the guitar looks like um, and just you know first impressions when I when I open it up. So it goes. Uh, this obviously comes in a extra guitar guitar packaging, and like the last few guitars I've opened, I'm just gonna open this up. <clears throat> hmm. Random M plug box in there. I'm assuming just to. Because these come in the sort of st standard odd shape guitar box that you get. Uh, I think it's just probably just a filler. No, they haven't given me a few free um, unplug to headphones, so sad, but it's fine. Uh, this comes from Newcastle, Registry. Right, okay. <clears throat> Let's take a look in here. Hmm. So I'm very impressed with that. The box is upside down. Um, although I opened it, yeah, I mean I opened this the right way up because you can see the guitar guitar logo. Someone in a hurry to box this, but it's fine as long as the guitar is in one piece. Uh, it doesn't really matter. Um, I don't care as much. I mean, it's coming to external box I'm hoping it's all in you know, one piece not really taped up either which is strange oh shit this says excuse my language this says Kramer hang on there Night Swan black blue polka dot uh, that is not the guitar I ordered did they just give me a <laughs> A more expensive guitar by mistake uh, well let's find out I'm hoping so uh, well I will return it because it's not right no it is the Beretta because uh, it's not a whole good dot of guitar as you can see um, what you can see through the faintly through the covering um, doesn't really come with much mm. Also, I'm just showing you, I'm hoping it's below this. <clears throat> hmm. Doesn't almost come with anything at all. Just the guitar. Uh, I was hoping there'd be like a little bag in there with, um, I mean, you got a nice Kramer logo. I'm going to put this up in my guitar room. I, I love, absolutely love kind of, you know, 80s era guitar logos and they're so cool. Uh, um... Actually, I think I'm missing something, unless it's inside this. Let's take a look anyway. Um, this is a Floyd Rose guitar, so I'd expect Allen Keys, uh, Floyd, Ro Floyd Rose arm perhaps. Uh, oh, okay. Um, all this packaging off. That stock comes nicely, nicely wrapped up. So it's kind of the banana shaped tilt back headstock. So. Don't want that breaking at any point of time. Sorry, the camera is something forward something. Okay, so this is a Beretta in um, in pewter grey. I mean, you can see several demos of this, um, and it's a really nice demo of this these guitars. Um, but they're just you know very simple eighties kind of. Shred, shredder's dream kind of guitars to to play. 
um, comes with a steamer dock and JB in the bridge um, and has is the only guitar that I know that and you can correct me if I'm wrong here that has a a maple body um, and a maple neck um, which makes it quite a bit heavy um, for a guitar with almost not much to it. Um, I mean, it's, I like heavy guitars, so I won't complain. But it's got this really nice, cool, kind of angled Seema Duncan pickup. Um, comes with the Floyd Rose 1000, so obviously this is an upgrade um, kind of the, for this price point. Um, I paid um, 400 pounds for this, and normally they retail around 600, 700, I believe. Um, but don't quote me on that. Check that. Ah, this comes with a push pull um, pot to split the coils. Um, yeah, I mean, there's not much to really talk about this guitar. I'm just going to go over to make sure there are no kind of blemishes or anything. Comes with the jack. Well, tele telecasters kind of kind of side jack. Obviously not recessed the same way, but it doesn't have the usual kind of um, square jack plate or. Um, and the rugby ball jack plate and then obviously you know the the good old kind of Kramer headstock um, that you get the banana shaped headstock whatever you want to call it um, I mean <laughs> it doesn't scream kind of 80s uh, hard rock uh, I don't know what else does um, it's not a compound radius. Um, it's a 12 or 12, um, 12 degree radius all the way through. Um, but the neck feels nice. I mean, I've heard terrible reviews in some of these with, with saying the build quality is absolutely rubbish um, for the price, but um, so far so good. And it comes with the Edge Serial number, which I haven't seen guitars this price point it is cool i mean not that the resale value on this is going to be ever great um i also really like this feature um i don't know whether kramer started it or, or not but i like the fact that your all your tools your you know your allen keys that i was looking for earlier are all just you know screw on here you just take these off use them put them back on very important on a floyd rose guitar because you don't want to not have those when you when you break a string um again nice creamer stamped um neck plate um really beautiful i mean strut style dare i say contours um yeah i mean these are coming back in fashion kramer is kramer is making a comeback um it's for all us 80s kids um who listen to that kind of music um and also they look they look cool as heck i mean the they at their peak were one of the most you know pioneering daring guitar companies um and they they made some really really amazing innovations um in guitar manufacturing um but i like this one specifically because um there's an old poster eddie van halen and before he started doing his own brand or with Music Man, um, there's a really old poster of Eddie Van Halen essentially standing with a, a cigarette in his hand and saying, <laughs> I play Kramer and this is the best guitar in the world. Uh, not to say it's necessarily true because you could give Eddie a blank wood with a pickup and, and some strings and he would make it sound amazing. Uh, which is I think what this Frankenstruct pretty much was, but he was a tweaker as so he understood and still understands guitars um, and you know the feel and the play playability etc um, so I mean I'm, I'm really impressed with this um, I wasn't expecting much given how many negative reviews but good great fret work absolutely no frets proud very nicely set frets which is the most important thing because that's where you spend really most of your time playing Nice solid neck pocket, no give, no kind of weird marks or gaps that I can see. Um, 
no, all in all, very impressed with this um, with this guitar. My only kind of complaint is going to be when I have to adjust the truss rod, I'm going to have to take this cover off, and then before that, I need to take the the string retainer off. Um, I don't know why they didn't think um, for these, and maybe this is just a replica of the the way they did this in the eighties for the vintage Berettas. Um, normally, sensible guitars are at least modern guitars have a, a spoke wheel adjustment here. Um, so you don't need to take off the the neck or you don't need to mess around with your Floyd Rose kind of um, string retainers ever. Um, but again, it's just, you know, 22 frets, um, or is it 21 actually? What's that, how about? 21 frets actually, yeah, sorry, my mistake. Um, yeah, just a lack of a better word, super strap, like a souped up super strap, single pickup, no tone knob. Um, because when you're playing um high gain 80s rock, who needs a tone knob? Just volume, split coil. Um, this Floyder is again, um, similar to the EVH unboxing I did, doesn't um, you can't pull back on, so it's a it's dive only. I think that's the way um, Eddie preferred them as well. Something to do with sustain or tuning stability, etc. Who knows? Um, I mean, Ibanez makes great guitars that do both. Um, and they don't necessarily go out of tune. It's just you know, how you set them up. It's uh, just balancing the string tension properly with the spring tension that goes the back. Um, makes all the difference to your you know, guitar's um, tuning stability, etc. Really nice contours. I even love the color. It's um, I didn't choose this guitar uh, for the color. It comes in like a bright candy red and and some others, but I wanted kind of um, the closest to white guitar as possible without actually having a white guitar. Um, this kind of pewter gray um, looks very very nice, um, and the finishing is you know really nice. No kind of um, Weird. Even the headstock's painted the same color, no color differences, um, and it doesn't have any issues with, you know, kind of paint spillage over. Um, I don't know whether, whether these are, are made. Um, I think they're made in an Indonesian factory, um, like every other, most of the guitars these days, even PRS is a really good um, Indonesian factory run by Cork. But yeah, I mean, it doesn't matter. I'm not, um, as long as the guitar is good, plays well, looks nice. Um, I'm really not fast where it's made. Um, I have a Gretsch that's made in China and it's uh, impeccably built, um, even far better than my Mexican made um, Ventara Telecaster, which had you know, some finishing issues. So there you go. It doesn't, um, as long as you have the right professional um, trained up, it doesn't really matter where these things are made. Um, but that was it. Um, um, nothing much to it. Like I said, very, very simple, you know, um, straightforward guitar. Um, if you've liked the video, um, please um, like and subscribe. Uh, let me know in the comments below. Um, yeah, there you go. Just going to do a quick run through.